strongly believe that artists can't actually work as isolated thinkers. They need to come together within a community space where they can collaborate and interact with each other. Um, so they become critics and mentors and mentees and by doing that they're able to elevate their work to a high level. So here at M Studio, that's really what we focus on and bringing artists of different, who work with different mediums together and helping them to build their careers. So mainly we work with emerging artists and we help them to develop and establish their careers. It's actually very funny how I ended up here because I'm Sonia Nisi, who spent most of his time in New York working there as an artist, I actually had the studio before M Studio. So I bumped into him at Maboning and he saw my work and then he told me I have to come and see him in his studio and give him one of my works and then he'll trade it for his. That's how I got to the August house and then funny enough in M Studios took the studio over when Simpson left. Then I met Sarah and then we had a chat about my work and stuff and how I need space. And now I ended up in the very same studio that I had an appointment with when I came to the August house. So yeah. Uh, this is my ninth month, yeah. I came here last year. Um, I think it August last year, you know, so that makes my ninth month, yeah. That's not easy as I expected it to be, but I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying my stay here, it's challenging. It pushes you, you know, because it's not just me, you know, it's like 45 of us. And it's, it's a very competitive space, you know. And I think it takes time though, it takes time, you know, I have to settle in. Yeah, but basically I'm enjoying myself, I'm having the time of my life. I'm surrounded by people that see the world the way I see it, you know. People that won't even ask you bullshit questions, you know, if you come with your dirty sneakers, you know, it's, it's my space, you know, it was meant for me. The August House alone is I don't know, it's amazing. Like as soon as you walk into the space, you can feel the ambiance takes over you. And then obviously when I walk into an artist studio, uh, the first studio I walked into when I came up the steps was Mbongeni Fagulta's studio and it blew me away. And I was just like, Jesus Christ, this is what I've been looking for. I mean, this is it. It's a little community in here. At first I was kind of intimidated. I mean everyone in here is quite a mid-career established and I'm this young artist and it was pretty amazing coming in here. They're so welcoming and yeah it kind of helped try, you know getting in here. Like this place is a family of some sort. We support each other so much, but you still kind of have to be your own person. So this space is a place that feeds my fine art soul. Um, it's a space where all the advice and the support that I need for a fine art career, I can get here. And because fine art is very, it's a very niche market, you need guidance, mentorship, and advice that is tailored for that. Somebody can't give you general advice because general advice doesn't work in this industry. So I found that the community here feeds that and it feeds my technical skills in this environment. I don't know, there's something about being around other creatives that just fuels your creativity and it's just a magnificent place to be surrounded by. But what both of these do is that they push me to the limit. With August House, the hype around it or the thing that called invites buyers and stuff, it's the fact that most of the big artists are here. Like looking at Nelson Magama, Sam Klingetwa, Diane Victor, all those big artists are here. So automatically when clients come to those guys, they look for other up and coming artists and August House has open studios where they invite guests to come and buy galleries to come view new artists. And looking at M Studios now, it's giving artists opportunities. Dude, I don't know, I like this 
So you find different ideas, you share ideas with different people, or you mingle with other artists and you have conversations and dialogues about art production, art practice, about the art world. You do a lot, you learn different mediums. I, I started doing printmaking recently uh, from, from, from uh, Taban, Zamai. So I'm, I'm taking, I'm putting away, you know, it's a, it's a journey. Just from working consistently and having other good artists around you and um, just being able to work within a network of, of artists was hugely beneficial. So uh, I guess at a certain point it just started to click into place and I guess just from practice things uh, start developing. What I'm trying to do is that I'm creating a platform for artists to be able to come and have work done in the space. Obviously in that form they're learning, in the form of art that I'm specializing in. So again, it's just a matter of being able to share skills and being able to learn how to work together in order to achieve one goal. The honest truth is in South Africa, it's, it's a bit difficult to get into the market here because you have to be big to get a big color. But how are you going to get to that level if you don't get an opportunity? So that's a difference between this side and that side because that side I went and showcased once, but there are galleries which are bigger that are calling me. But here I've been practicing for a while now, but partaked in few group shows but it's a bit hard to get galleries. You have to be something. The fortunate part is when somehow August House has hype around it. So when I got here, a lot of people now started following me. I got more recognition outside than here. I've seen people growing from where they were to where they are now in a very short space of time. So that, that, that's a positive result. That simply means we're doing something good. The, the media and the limelight is now on the continent, so it, it's playing a certain role, at least to, to the outer market as well, or international market. They're starting to recognize what we are doing here. We've been, we've been around, we've been around, we've been pushing. It's quite tricky to comment on a lot of things as I don't know how exactly to put this. As, as a white male, um, you often feel like, can I show an image of, of a young black child or, or something like that? What am I saying with it? Do I have any kind of authority to talk about these kind of things or to investigate those areas? South African art at the moment is in high demand. And I think it's in high demand because we're going through a process where artists are being pushed to say what they want to say and not just create something that's appealing to the public. We're not going to leave this space, it's such a beautiful place and it's exactly the community that we want because what I'm trying to create here with artists collaborating and communicating and networking, the building provides a bigger base for that. So they're not just interacting within themselves but also with established artists who can really assist them by getting connected to galleries and who have done the journey from emerging to successful investment artists.